Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre, and well, this is actually take two. Bad thing is, I gotta do this all over again. I already got my lime cut and everything. But good thing is, is I get to try to drink ahead of time. This is a pretty damn good drink. But you guys don't know what it's like. I do. It's good. But this is actually called the Ruby Slipper. The whole concept is Vinique sent me a bottle. They sent me more than just a bottle. They sent me a shaker that has Vinique on it. They sent me a freaking awesome looking glass that has Vinique on it. And a jigger that don't have Vinique. But still, the fact that they sent me a jigger. I probably use that too in this cocktail. But I've, as soon as I got this package in the mail today, I was like, I have to create a cocktail. And I first thing that popped in mind was Ruby Slipper. I already made the Ruby Sour. It's a very basic name for a drink. It's also a very flavorful drink. If you get a chance, check that out. I'll put a link up here. And you gotta try it out. It's also hopefully soon to be on Common Cocktails and part of his contest that he's doing. But the one thing about this cocktail, it's simple. I created just a couple different ingredients. But name like Ruby Slipper, it's very basic. I figure somebody else probably got it already. But I looked on their site, it's not part of their site, so I figured why not, I'll make it Ruby Slipper. It's my own ingredients, my own recipe, but very flavorful. It is good though. And definitely, if you're doing a show, make sure you hit the record button. It's not good if you don't. But to show you how this one's made, it's really good. I like it a lot. It definitely, don't want to use this bottle because, well, it's brand new. They sent me a brand new bottle. So, I use the bottle I already have. I figured I already did a review. I did a cocktail with it. And I'm definitely been using a lot of this. I want to save that one for later. But I'll show you how this one's made. And this time, I have been recording. Don't have to worry about doing it over again. Alright. Now, once again... First thing I'm going to do is take juice of half a lime. It's a good thing it's juice of half a lime because I made a mistake. I had one lime, cut in half. I got a whole other lime. It's already there. So you take a juice of half a lime. You need some hard ass limes too. Yeah. Yep. Then you want to take. Two ounces of your Vinique. Make sure you got it nice and well shaken so all your glitter, glitter and gold. Your glitter is all in there. Take about two ounces of that. Yeah, it's pretty well shaken. They got a good amount of that coming in there. You want to take. About an ounce of your coin trowel. You can use any triple sec if you don't have coin trowel because coin trowel is pretty expensive. And I'm almost out of this thing. This bottle lasts me about almost two years because it's so expensive. I didn't want to use it as much. But I figure this is a good cocktail. It's a really good brand. I figure I'll go out and I use the very good product. Which I wore a little bit. Of it. And then you also take an ounce of cranberry. One downside to these jiggers compared to what I'm used to using. The other ones, it holds it better, pours. The problem with the jiggers is they kind of it's easy to spill, like I just did. I'm all sticky now. So I figure I had a little bit extra in there just since the fact I spilled some. Yeah. Then I'll give it a good shake. into your glass and then top that off 
with some champagne. Brute champagne at that because one thing you want to do is you want to get a little bit more sweetness than usual. Then you take that final bit. Add a lime spiral. They have a perfect presentation. Of course, they clean trout is extremely sticky. They have perfect presentation, a really good cocktail, a ton of flavor, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of sourness. A little bit of tart bite from the cranberry, but all together, great cocktail. Let's see how it tastes. Again. <coughs> well, got a lot of champagne with that one. Flavor wise, is actually really good. It's not overly sweet. The one thing about Vanique, if you ever get a chance to try it out, which I can't, I can't stress enough. Definitely want to try it out. In comparison to the original, the original had just basically to quote how Derek said it, more like a peach flavor. For me, it's more of a grape, but he said peach. But the more I have it, more I'm actually getting that peach flavor out of that. So I had more of a peach, kind of a bit of a Concord grape type flavor with that. This maybe they did because of the color, but it has a lot of strawberry notes. You get some tart raspberry in there slight amount of cherry you get a little bit of a pomegranate to help get the extra balance of it but flavor wise it's so much better than the original not knocking the original because the original is good as is but this one is a very good alternative to the original a lot of flavor to it it's sweet it's perfect if you like sweet cocktails this would be perfect for it plus it's red physically to me, looking at this compared to one with the purple, it just looks better. The red stands out more. It's vibrant. It's in your face. It's just there. You get purple, it's just purple. But this, it's really good. It's definitely worth checking out. As I said, it does have a little bit of a tart bite to it. The cranberry isn't really giving a very strong amount of tartness to it, but it definitely gets something in there. It's really good. Now, one thing in the original, well, hopefully, what I wanted to be the original recording that I forgot to mention. The good thing about this glass I got from Vanique, it's not straight up and down. It actually has a bit of a curve right in there. Now, the one thing about having that curve is as you pour it, it helps create like a cycloning event, which allows the shimmery effect to actually blend more to get more of that traditional shimmery effect so it's a good glass i don't know if you could buy these anywhere you may be able to check from vanique.com itself and maybe get the glass it's a really good glass if even if you don't use it for vanique just to have the glass it's really cool to have and it's tall as hell and i just hope i can find a place to put it in my cabinet but it's definitely worth checking out the cocktail definitely worth checking out the glass definitely worth checking out the vanique it's perfect for any event you have and it's really cool flavor wise. Mm. It's actually really good. I'll probably finish this one too. Just because it's good. But I hope you enjoyed this cocktail. Be sure to check out Vanique.com. You can find many recipes that they have themselves on there. Hopefully, they like this one that's making on their page too. We'll see how it is. But it's definitely worth checking out. They have a lot of recipes coming for the, this one. They have a lot more now for the Ruby or the original because it's been out longer. I mean, it's still cool. Look at its shimmers. It's the only one out there that does this. I mean, it's not as popular as it is in the past because it's it's not as new, but still really good. We're trying out, but definitely hope you guys like this cocktail. Definitely hope you like Vanique, and I guarantee you'll like the Vanique Ruby. And if you don't like the original Vanique, if you try the original and you're like, it's just eh, and you don't like it, if you try this, you'll love it. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Concert Spirit Cocktails, subscribe to our channel, submit your cocktails, but as always, drink responsibly.